Well, you see, not to offend anyone, but I think, hello, I think our obsession with asserting dominance over nature is a cause of uh, mainstream religion. I would agree with that, because yeah, it's an arrogance Because a lot well. of them say, oh, nature's your bitch, do what you want with it. If you, if you look into Shinto, that teaches you to respect nature, yeah. because powerful and small objects of nature have in, in Shinto they have spirits and gods living in them if you see a beautiful massive tree there's a god living in that if you see a tiny daffodil there's a spirit living in that I don't really believe in God I know I, but I, it I, teaches I, reverence for nature you see yeah I know what you mean I'm non-spiritual I'm non-religious yeah. but I follow Shinto I study Zen Buddhism oh, no, it's it's enough, something for everyone to get oh, yeah, yeah yeah fair enough mate isn't it that's perfect, that, I think. Jack Dorf! I'll take one. That was a little booklet. So, why are you out today? <laughs> Elaborate. It's a pretty obvious question. Well, I'm out today because the climate is clearly changing dramatically and there is a limited amount of time in which to do things. That's very true. Our government needs, our government, big business, needs to pull their finger out and start attacking the problem. That's very true. So what do you hope to achieve? Well, hopefully, uh, I mean, there's a very good turnout so far. Uh, hopefully people will take encouragement from yeah. the numbers here. Yeah, it's immense, and so, it? for instance, Leeds College might want to have an XR group within yeah. their college and next time bring the lecturers, the cleaners, everybody at the college out in support of climate change. Yeah, I hope now. that happens too. Yeah. Honestly. So, what what would you say is the easiest way to reduce carbon emissions? Uh, stop manufacturing cars, diesel or petrol cars. Immediately convert all cars, uh, swap cars into electric cars. Um, shut down all the nuclear power stations, all the coal fire stations. Move dramatically to wind farms, solar panels but internationally the best place to put solar panels would be the deserts like Sahara, the Gobi yeah. Desert. A lot of heat cover them, around there. Cover them with solar power because at, at the end of the day that up there is a major source of power you know that's what needs to be harnessed it's clean it's free it's brilliant why would you decommission nuclear power stations we have a lot of nuclear energy and i think we need to uh rather than using the bombs we need to use the power stations more really use them until we can wean ourselves off of them and then move to the wind farms and solar panels i mean nuclear power stations are not, are not carbon neutral they, they take up an enormous amount of uh, oh, well pollute um, oh, yeah, I enormous they in their construction, yeah, huge amounts of concrete, etc. However, it's necessary. when you look at the disasters that have happened, yeah, they're Chernobyl, all, fucking, oh yeah, they're all human yeah. error. Chernobyl was due to lies. Are, it's lies well, causing are you aware of right now. Huh? What, are you aware of what, um, at, uh, how those power plants like Fukushima and Chernobyl actually went critical? How? How they went critical. Um, well, various problem. mistakes, but, uh, you, know, you know, if you take um, Three Mile Island, the American one, wind scales in the UK, you know, there's all these nuclear disasters that are hidden from basically ordinary people. I mean, in fact, luckily Netflix is covering Chernobyl. But the, the, no, it, was, uh, it wasn't that. Netflix, it was Sky, I oh, believe. Oh, sorry, sorry, Sky. Anyway, somebody's actually covering the issue. 
But of course a disaster in a nuclear power station will wipe out huge numbers of people. And that's the real danger. Compare that's how long <laughs> compare how long we've had coal power to how long we've had nuclear power. We've well, had nuclear power and nuclear capability a lot shorter than we have coal power. Yes. You have very valid points. Yeah. I'm just having general yeah, discussion. Yeah. Well, actually, interesting. We, we have a lot to learn about how to maintain and yeah. keep nuclear power in order. I don't think that's possible to keep it in order. The only reason they... they uh, people may be saying that about coal power. The only reason people uh, went down the road of nuclear power was to uh, build the atomic bomb and maintain their atomic arsenal. That's the main reason, yeah. you know, both Russia and America. You look at who are the nuclear bomb, uh, they've got lots of nuclear power yeah, stations. Ridiculous. And they have to re re-energise the weapons on a regular basis. However, when you think of the amount of money spent on, say, a nuclear power station, you could probably, you know, have enough wind farms and solar panels to, to uh, pay for them. Also, I mean, you've also got things like um, say the amount if, of. If you look here, you've got these buildings with uh, lots of glass and hardly any solar panels. Are there? There's no solar panels, as far as I can see, anywhere in the centre of Leeds. A ridiculous, you know, it should be part. Any new build has to be carbon neutral. You, you say that, um, that obviously, like to build a nuclear power plant would be rather expensive and stuff like that and it would yeah. be better to put that into building more renewable sources of energy yeah. but how do you know that a hundred that how do you know that a hundred solar, fa uh, solar farms a hundred wind farms are going to be as consistent and energy producing as say one nuclear power plant in the long run well we're not too sure how they're going to decommission the nuclear power plants for a start the cost of that hasn't been factored in as far as i'm aware that uh, the bill for nuclear power is gigantic. At least a coal fire station, when you shut it, that's probably it. For the nuclear power, what are you going to do with all the uh, waste storage? Nobody that's really knows. And that's a huge bill, which is never taken into account when the, the, the subsidies to fossil fuels go on. I mean, to be honest, at Leeds, uh, the reason Leeds grew was because of water power originally, was the power to generate power through uh, streams and uh, water wheels and then obviously coal comes along but for most human history uh, water power has been uh, more useful it's really fascinating thank you very Sorry. much for your time okay